Thomas Markle Jr. will fight Mark Wahlberg's best friend Henry Nacho Law in an upcoming celebrity boxing match, Daily Mail can reveal. We revealed last week that Meghan Markle's older brother was stepping into the ring. And now we have learned his opponent will be Lawn, 54, Hollywood star Wahlberg's longtime friend and right-hand man who co-starred in hit reality series The Wahlbergers. Actor Lawn, an extreme eater from Boston, Massachusetts, will fight under his ring nickname Nacho Extreme while window fitter Markle, 52, from Grant Pass, Oregon, will go by Tommy the Duke, in a nod to his royal brother-in-law. The two unlikely heavyweights will go head-to-head -head in the match scheduled for June 29 at a venue in either Los Angeles or Atlantic City and Lawn promises a slugfest. He said, I'm down for a good time, any time. I don't have a fighting style, I just roll with the punches, one step at a time. It could be a slugfest, if they wanna bust out the 10-ounce gloves fine, the 16, no problem. I'll go mano a mano, old school, I'll go bare knuckle too if I have to, that's why they call me the extreme. Lon is heavier than his opponent weighing in at a bulky 265 pounds to Markle's 250 pounds. But Markle, 52 has a 7-inch height advantage standing at 6 feet 3 inches to Lon's 5 feet 8 inches. Lon, however, is a veteran of the celebrity boxing ring, having beaten former NFL star Lee Woodall in about in 2015. The actor says he starts training on Friday morning and has some experienced trainers in his corner. I have former champion boxer Joey D trained a grand as training me in Boston, he's a four different belt champion. I'm also meeting with former champ Irish Mickey Ward who's gonna help me out. I'll be ready by the middle of May the way I go and I have my own entourage too. Lon is an original member of Mark Wahlberg's Real Life Entourage, a group on which the hit TV show Entourage was based. His character in the show was Turtle and played by actor Jerry Ferrara. Lon first met the departed star Wahlberg after moving to Dorchester, Massachusetts, in the mid-1980s when Mark picked a fight with him. Years later, the pair became firm friends and Lon remains an integral part of Wahlberg's inner circle, often working as a bodyguard or driver for the superstar. Lon appeared in five seasons of reality show Wahlbergers and is known for his fun-loving antics and extreme eating stunts as a member of Mark Wahlberg's entourage. In the show what started as a bet to eat an enormous bowl of grated cheese grew into an ever-increasing array of challenges including whole lobsters in the shell, golf divots, sour milk, and pint-sized bottles of hot sauce. In one episode alone ate 18 of the 20 burgers he was supposed to take from Boston to L.A. for Wahlberg's consumption. Lon has also entered competitive eating contests including the Whipwing Bowl in Philadelphia, an annual event that pits competitive eaters in a buffalo wing eating contest. His eating prowess even landed him a show of his own called Nacho Extreme Texas, a food and fun travelogue. Lon said he plans to talk to his famous friend this weekend about the fight and reckons the star will be right behind him. Lon, who is also working on a new show called Nacho Extreme Texas, says he knows little about opponent Markle, but says, I'm up for any kind of challenge. We're gonna have a blast with it. It's a show. I'm gonna roll with the punches and have fun with it. Then after the fight we're both gonna sit down and smoke a big fat cigar and enjoy the night. Asked if he plans to knock Markle out, he replied, it depends which hand hits the hardest first. Celebrity boxing promoter Damon Feldman who is behind the fight told Daily Mail, I'm really excited by this matchup, it's going to get a lot of attention. I've known Nacho for five years, he knows his stuff, he shows up. He does his stuff right. This is just the right match, it's crazy how it all fell together. Last week Markle told Daily Mail of the fight, I'm primed and ready to get started. It's going to be tough getting in shape for the fight, after all I'm a 52 year old, out of shape smoker. But it's going to be a lot of fun. I used to do martial arts but I don't have any boxing experience, I think I can handle it though, I know the basics. I'm pretty excited about it. Celebrity boxing is a competition where two celebrities or people in the media are pitted against each other in the ring to raise money for charity. 
The fights are three two-minute rounds and come under celebrity boxing rules. Philadelphia-based boxing promoter Feldman, known as the 16-minute man for giving celebs their 16th minute of fame in the boxing ring, told Daily Mail to I give a lot of people a shot in the ring and I saw Tom's name with Megan and I thought it would be really cool and interesting. I contacted him and he got back to me and we put it together, we're all set, it's going to be a great fight, it's going to be a big deal." Feldman, 43, added that Markle is keen to get his name out there on his own merits, not just through his connection with his royal sister Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. And the fight is sure to raise more than a few eyebrows. Markle is continually in the news talking about his estranged relationship with Meghan. Celebrity boxing has had its fair share of fireworks in the ring. A fight between disgraced figure skater Tanya Harding and alleged Bill Clinton sexual harassment victim Paula Jones was broadcast nationally on Fox. But Feldman says one of his biggest fights was former child star turned comedian Danny Bonaducci vs Jose Canseco, a former Major League Baseball player. There was even a battle of the mistresses, pitting Violet Cole. Mel Gibson's ex-mistress, with Michelle McGee, ex-mistress of Jesse James, Sandra Bullock's boyfriend. One time, Long Island Lolita Amy Fisher fought Octomum Nadia Suleiman, and Fisher's husband, Lou Bella, fought her former lover, Joey Butafuoco, whose wife Fisher shot in the face. Feldman, a former undefeated professional boxer, dubbed the Jewish Rocky is also producing a movie about his colorful life coming in 2020.